Well, I wanted to show you a little bit of what I think is, is success thus far. You can see there's the water tank. Let me back up here a little bit. There's the water tank. And you see all that plastic? What that is is, uh, I used to call this stuff visqueen. It's actually uh, six mil uh, uh, plastic that you can buy in the construction aisle over at your home uh, repair type place. Now this is not made for this, but I found that it works. Now, let me show you what I've done. If I showed you before where I have two compartments in this tank. And by the way, what I've got to do here is I've got to basically trim all this stuff off. And the reason it's falling all over the place is because that's the excess that's sticking out of the tank. And I've got to trim it off and, you know, trim it back down where it's, it's not kind of sticking out there. But let me climb up here. Let me show you what I've done, first of all. Let's go around this side. There we are. This is the other side of the tank. And what this hose here is for, remember there's two compartments in the tank. This hose is slowly filling up this compartment. And this compartment has been filled up. And as you can see, I've got a uh, bulkhead uh, fitting mounted on there. And what I'm doing is, you see there's some water coming down through here. And that is going into this tank. Now, it used to come in through the system uh, right to the tank, you know, when these tanks were all that were here. So what I've done, though, is I've intercepted that line, and instead of coming straight back into the tank through this line right there that it used to do, I've intercepted that and basically put this tank in the middle between that line, so to speak, between where that line comes from and over there and so basically this tank is now filling up and overflowing into that tank so let's see here maybe I can show you it's not that interesting but there you see well I don't want to get I don't want to accidentally drop my there okay there you can see the water flowing in there that's coming out of that big other tank now let's climb up over on the other side and have a look in this tank. Okay. Now, there's a little step ladder that I've got. I've got to be very careful there because I'm very paranoid about dropping my camera in there. Okay, you know what? I'm going to have to get a flashlight because you can't see. Just a second. Okay. So if you can see, there's that uh, overflow port. And as you can see, if you look down in here, you can see that the liner is pushing down and uh, on the walls in there. And uh, over here, this is the new line that's coming in. This is where I've intercepted. This line basically used to run into those tanks over there. And now it fills this tank, and that tank overflows right there to fill those other tanks. Now... I've got this tank over here, like I said, this is compartment tank. I know that's difficult to see because the lighting is so poor in here, but basically, you know, there's the, the first tank is on this side and the second tank is on that side. And the idea is I will move that fill line over to this tank and then put some more bulkhead adapters here to basically run that tank overflow into that tank and then that tank will continue to overflow over here and that tank will continue to overflow here like it's doing and so it seems to be working and uh, so we've got some progress here and on I've got to put this tie this plastic down and trim it all off so it doesn't have plastic hanging out all over the place. But anyway, there you go. Seems to be working. Okay, well after all is said and done, I've got the tank finished and everything seems to be working. What I've done here is I've put a, uh, a styrofoam cap on the top to uh, keep uh, the heat from... Uh, basically evaporating out of the thing and uh, that seems to be holding pretty good let's go around the other side here let 
Now there's enough light over here. And as you can see, I do have a mess in here that I need to clean up. But same thing here. There's the styrofoam cap and there is the uh, the uh, piping going from one compartment to the other. And you can see those uh, two by fours where the uh, cable, the tensioning cables are attached to from the inside. And there it is. It's all up and running. I mean, all together. Well, it's up and running, but it's all together. Nothing leaks. So now the next stage is to go and install the solar system that's going to power this. Okay, let's do a little review of what we're trying to do. Now you can see by this picture, this is a representation of how things were originally. As you can see, there's two 500 gallon tanks. There is a supply that goes to the greenhouse water circulation system. That's basically to heat the greenhouse. And then there's a return line on the left hand side that goes to one of those tanks. That comes from the greenhouse. Now what we're going to do is add one more tank, which is that wooden tank we've talked about. And that's already installed and I've already shown you that. And then what we're going to do is hook that up to where the greenhouse recirc line comes into that 1100 gallon tank that we just built. And then that 1100 gallon tank overflows into the 500 gallon tanks that were already there. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to install a water heater. It's an electric water heater. And as you can see, the greenhouse recirculation line is going to go through that water heater first and then to the 1100 gallon tank and so on. And then the final thing that we're going to do is that new water heater is going to be heated by solar power, by solar panels. And, and that's the next part of this build that I'm going to show you how we uh, put that solar part of this all together. So stay tuned and uh, we'll get into that and we'll show you how that's done.